Hello Diary. Um, I've been doing my toothpaste and mouthwash diet now for, for two days. Um, been a couple of side effects. Some of them are good, some of them are not, not quite so good. There's um, got much whiter teeth, fresher breath, really white teeth, but um, also really white poo. Uh, I don't think that's a very good thing. I um, don't think, well, um, poos, I've never had white poo before. Never heard of white poo, so I don't think it's a good, good thing. So I'm going to go to the doctors maybe and ask whether whether it's something I should worry about, and whether there's anything I can do to stop my poo from being white while still carrying on with the toothpaste and mouthwash diet. Hello again. Uh, end of day three nearly, and it's been a bit of a dull and dreary day of dietary deficient dreariness. Yeah. Uh, alliteration aside, I'm still hungry. Uh, I pretty much have been all day. But on the upside, uh, I tried cereal with warm milk for the first time today, and uh, the results were quite positive. So hopefully, I won't be relying on porridge too much to stay warm in this freezing cold house. Uh, yeah, energy-wise, doing fine. I've noticed uh, an interesting addition to the diary room that someone's put in today. Not quite sure who's responsible for that. Uh, Hi. Hey. Um, here Cam and Pan. Cereal Boy. Cam and Pan, that's Cam uh, Pan. That was our old names. From, oh. well, <laughs> your <laughs> your <laughs> current name. Previous lives. Yeah, but with Pan. Um, Cam Pan. Anyway, Peach just done a brilliant bit of innovation, which you can't see. Yeah. He's used um, a made, box. modified a stool. That was full of cereal. He also used his power as cereal boy to get cereal all over the um, no one room. Notice. No one notice. <laughs> it's a minion room anyway, basically. Um, yeah, so here we are. What have we got to say? What have I got to say? Um, um, um. Um, anything else? Um, no. Do you want to show them the new box? Not really. The, the, the folks at home. I so like to think of them in their warm houses as opposed to their. Oh god, this is not a forum for your complaints. Freezing con. Um, okay. We've already got a frosted shreddies up there. Well, that's a cocoa shreddies. But yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. Mark. Just stack it up. There you go. One. I've lost even more seat out. Huh? I've lost out on some seat now. But I haven't got much. You've got, got less. You're not saying much. What do you mean I'm not saying much? You're just sitting there eating crisp. Now I'm chasing a sulking skewer, cereal boy. There he is. He's walked out pretty much. Piss off! Supported out. This is raw emotion you're watching here. It's dropped something. It appears to be a bag. This is an update on Pete as he doesn't seem to be using the diary room anymore. Um, he's not sleeping so well at night. Uh, he said he didn't get to sleep till four. Um, he missed lectures today. Today is pretty much his busiest day. Uh, slept through the morning's lectures. Um, generally in a bad mood, usually in a bad mood, like, or he has been, was yesterday, the day before. Um, yeah, he's only got today and then two more days left. Hopefully there'll be um, some more exciting stuff to report that. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, it's been a bit of a while since I've been talking to a camera. Yesterday I was a little bit upset. I think the cereal was uh, getting on top of me and uh, I just needed a, a hug and a sandwich. Unfortunately I didn't have the sandwich uh, and Cam gave me the hug which wasn't particularly good either. But I'm feeling a lot better now after uh, I've uh, 
scaled the brow of the hill. And it's all plain sailing from here, I reckon. I think psychologically, because yesterday was uh, the midpoint of the whole thing, I uh, felt a bit lost, a bit isolated. Because uh, it seemed like I was uh, so far away from food. I mean, it had been three days since I'd had any food. And it was going to be another three days before I could uh, sink my teeth into some nice warm stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think in general, the uh, the effect of cereal has given me quite a short temper. And uh, it just reared its ugly head yesterday. But things are looking good so far today. So, yeah, I hope you didn't miss me too much. Uh, and to make up for it, uh, I thought I'd furnish you with some uh, interesting cereal related facts. The word cereal, in fact, actually originates from Cerelia, the name of ancient Roman ceremonies that honoured Ceres, the goddess of grain. Cereal was invented when colonial housewives started serving up popcorn with sugar and cream for breakfast. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be allowed in this country, seeing as we're not even allowed lucky charms used to be my favourite cereal. Probably still would be if they were still on the ship. But uh, popcorn with sugar and uh, cream doesn't sound at all healthy. Um, dry cereal for breakfast was invented by John Henry Kellogg. Uh, you should have got that one. Now, I've, I've narrowed it down to my top three cereal related facts. Uh, in at number three, astronauts from Apollo 11 boosted their brain power while in space with a cereal breakfast. Again, whilst, when they're in space, I'm guessing uh, eating cereal might be a bit tricky. Unless they had some kind of uh, special uh, cereal dispensing machine. I guess they did. Or it would be a bit, a bit messy up in the space shuttle. Maybe that's why Apollo 13 went wrong. They got um, cornflakes clogging up all the uh, machinery. Anyway, it doesn't say that it was Apollo 13. Just Apollo 11. So maybe Apollo 11, they, uh, they thought, oh, that would be a good idea. Cereal. Because it will give you uh, brain power, apparently. But then they, uh, they realised the error of taking cereal into space. So uh, it was just that one mission, I suppose. Uh, number two, Tony the Tiger beat out several other spokes animals to become the mascot for Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, or now Frosties. Uh, Newt the New and Elmo the Elephant were top contenders, but they never made it into the stores. Katie the Kangaroo, however, went one step further and was displayed right next to Tony. The tiger swiftly clobbered the kangaroo in sales, and so uh, they uh, got rid of Katie the kangaroo. And uh, in at number one, for cereal facts, it's uh, Rice Krispies related. Like the elusive fifth beetle, there was a long lost fourth member of the Snap, Crackle and Pop gang. His name was Pow. And in the 1950s, he was supposed to represent Rice Krispies' explosive nutritional value. Sadly, four proved to be one cereal known too many, and uh, Powell was given his shaft, so to speak. And uh, to supplement that fact, um, I've also got Snap, Crack and Pop translated into different languages. Uh, first of all, in Spanish, it's Pim, Pum and Pam. In Swedish, Piff, Paf. Puff. In Finnish, Pox, Rix, and Rax. And German, Knisper, Knasper, Knusper. 